there and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the stock swooshing and reviewing the SPY here. Every trade I've called in the market this year actually for 2019 has worked, whether it's been the SPY or the Qs. I've had a really good read on this market overall, seeing where the next level that it's going to go. Um, and it's because that I read gaps. Uh, the reason that I am very astute in reading the market is because I have a system where I will rate the gap. And the market gaps really almost every day, which is unique. Uh, stocks theoretically really don't gap every day. I mean, you could say they do by a penny or two, but for the most part, they really don't gap every day in a way that's predictable. The market, however, has, has been, uh, which is very interesting because, again, the market's challenging to read. And even I don't get it right all the time, but I've gotten it right um, this entire year of 2019, and quite frankly, for the majority of 2018, and, and really even going back before that. So I've been, I've been tracking my own progress in this and even on my television clips and the calls I'm making, just had a beautiful read of this market. In fact, I, I called the rally uh, the last week of the year, the New Year's Eve rally. I said, I said, we're not gonna have a Christmas rally, we're gonna have a New Year's Eve rally. And I was exactly right. We rallied the day after Christmas on the 26th. So on Thursday, I called <clears throat> an option um, that was immediately into the money. So I called the 280 SPY calls out, uh, not out from this Friday, but for two weeks, and it went immediately up and immediately into the money here on Friday. So you could have taken the trade here as an overnight and immediately got out. Or you could still be in it, because as I was stating, it's out for uh, a few weeks. Also, we looked at the market long as a day trade. Let's go over this here for you. So I, I, I thought the market was a long on Friday. I was right, but we were a little bit aggressive in it. So we went long. The market in here were up a little. Didn't see any reason to get out for that amount of the move. And then it broke, and actually we got stopped in the market in the morning. Um, watched it, watched it, watched it, watched it. Anyways, called a beautiful call with a baby. I mean, a baby stop in this market right here. I mean, you, it was a dream play, and it was just right at the perfect, perfect time. Actually, here it was. Perfect time here. And literally, right after I called it, the market shot up like a rocket here into 2 o'clock, 2.15, and you could have even held it into the close if you felt like it. Um, so it, this was a beautiful call. So, you know, if you are doing something where you need the market, it is important to a strategy, I mean, that you're trading where you need the market. It's important to, re to learn how to read the market. And again, you can't just look at support and resistance and pullbacks and things like that. You have to look at what is going to really tell you where the next move is going to be. Because if you're looking for pullbacks, the market isn't pulling back. If you're looking at support and resistance, playing just that, shorting resistance, buying support, that isn't working out. So the market is something that is, is tricky. It's tricky to read. And I've done a really good job at it, and I'm getting better at it as the years have gone by. Ten years I've been trading really because of my ability to be able to read gaps. So I look at the gap. I rate the gap in the pre-market in the morning. Okay, that's what I did here on Thursday and Friday. Thursday was the day I called the option call. Okay, Thursday was here, and then Friday was here. And I, I knew the market was higher in the gap here Thursday called the overnight and I mean to take a trade and be right up in the money is a beautiful thing especially in an overnight to be you know up in a gap or if you're short you buy a put to be down in a gap but this is a call so if you're interested in learning how to day trade or do overnight trades and options or swing trades for long-term investing I can teach you how to look at a gap analyze it and specifically as I said that helps with the market because the market gaps basically every day and it's very challenging for people to read. And the people use the market a lot for their day trades and also even for futures. So if you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Next class for the Golden Gap course is March 9th and 10th. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.